In today's Leeds news, Rodon on his future and Ampadu, Melier speaks on improvements, Archie one of the world's best and doctor update on stroke injury. Morning folks, Jer here, Thursday morning the 21st of March with your Legion United News. Two quick updates, just to remind you, there is a mental health stream tonight at 7pm, myself and Andrew Dalton just talking about um, Andrew's mental health struggles that he has had over the years and how stats and getting into what he has gotten into has helped him. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, that'll be some additional content tonight. If you're not into it, don't worry about it, there is news tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night at 6pm, Jerry McDermott will be joining us for the Academy View where we look at the development behind the scenes of the under-18s, under-21s and what's going on on in the academy across the board some uh, nice details coming up from jerry always a pleasure to get jerry on the channel as well so looking forward to that one that's tomorrow right let's crack on and get into today's news we'll start off with joe rodon who is the latest legion United player to be speaking while on international duty and he's had some positive things to say about ethan ambadu and give him some hints about his own personal future. Although Rodon's long-term future is likely to be something of speculation for a little bit longer, at least his short-term future seems to re- revolve all around focus. Rodon has commented on having a lot of playing time this year and making a huge difference to himself. And what he's had to say on this when he was asked, is this the best season of your career? He said the following. This season coming in, playing every minute and not looking back, yeah, Maybe. All I wanted was game time. Now that I'm having it, it's only going to make my confidence grow. I'm enjoying every minute and I'm grateful for the opportunities that I've been given by the gaffer. Long may it continue. Rodon went on to talk about everything he is trying to do to help Leeds United to get back to the Premier Division and will give everything to do that. He said for right now his focus is on Thursday night's game, tonight's game against Finland. And then after that he will turn his focus to doing everything in his power to ensure Leeds United get back to the promised land of the Premier Division. On Ethan Ampadu, who is currently undefeated as Leeds United captain, Rodon said that is enjoying his influence from a first-hand perspective and says that it feels like he's been around forever. He spoke about the bonding that the two players have had, spending a huge amount of time together in Leeds, playing together at centre-back and then playing for the country as well. And he said it's brought them together much closer than they were before, but they're good friends, but now they're even closer than they were. He thinks Ampadu has been incredible this season, and he said it has been an absolute pleasure playing beside him for club and for culture country there's no doubt Ethan Ampadu has been an absolute phenomenal player for Leeds United this season probably the most consistent player which is possibly why he goes under the radar quite a lot of the time he just gets on with his job and does it does it very very well and um, we see other standout moments and standout players in different games get man the match but Ethan Ampadu is a consistent performer in that team and Joe Rodon beside him between Melier Rodon and Ampadu nobody has played more minutes for Leeds and that defensive unit those three specifically grew up in front of them if you're going to add somebody else as well has been a huge factor in Leeds United not conceding goals this year so that's been great to see the best defence in the league and we're going to talk a bit more about that now because Ilan Melia has been speaking about improvements to his game over the course of last weekend during the Millwall game Paul, former Leeds United goalkeeper Paul Robinson was talking about some small changes that he had noticed that to, that Ilan Melia has made that have made a big impact on improving him as a goalkeeper Robinson said that there were some technical tweaks that Melier has put into practice, highlighting the fact that he is now working with a narrower foot position, which means he is now better placed to make reactive saves. Melier himself has now also spoken on it, responding to a question in the media where he was asked if sharpening up his footwork has helped his improvement. It was an area that I questioned about his game last season. The Premier Division was his footwork. And he had the following to say, Yes, absolutely. It's something that I've changed. I think as a goalkeeper, you can see small details. I'm a little higher and that allows me to push higher. I'm happy that I can find some details to allow me to be better and to be more helpful to the team. There was a lot of talk last year about the, the coaching that he was getting and the, the level of improvement that he, he was making initially and then kind of stopped for a bit. Confidence plays a big part in that as well. But there have been clear improvements in the player this season. Leeds currently boasts the best defensive record in the league, only conceding 28 goals in 38 games all season. And Ilan Melier is currently the mo- has the most clean sheets in the championship with 17 so far. Melier still has some areas of his game to improve, but as a 24-year-old, is he showing the ability to improve and get better? Yep, that's important. He's a long way off his peak yet. And he has, as I said, got some areas to improve on, but the fact that he's identifying areas right now under the coaching system that Daniel Farrakh has brought in, there have been significant improvements. He's made some massive saves this year. I know not everyone is a fan Fair enough. The performance is if he plays bad, he plays bad. If he plays good, he plays good. He's made some big, big saves for Leeds this season. So he's been important. He really, really has. 
Um, speaking of other important players flying through this today, um, Archie Gray has been recognised as one of the best young players in the world. It's been a breakout season for Archie Gray that has seen him go from a promising 17-year-old Leeds United midfielder, up-and-coming midfielder, to an ever-present and first choice right back to overshadowing a £200 million Chelsea midfield to being name-checked by Gareth Southgate in the England first team and receiving his first England under-21 call-up. And he's just turned 18. Now he has been name checked in the world's top 50 young players. He has been voted in the top 50 wonder kids in the world. In gold this month, the NXGN list has placed Archie Gray in the top 50 young players from across world football. The NXGN list consists of players that were born after January 1st, 2005, which means Archie will have another season and be eligible for this list again. Next year, Gray's been placed 43rd overall on the list with some pretty big hitters above him from clubs like Real Madrid and Barcelona. And according to the article in what has been Archie Gray's first competitive season as a player, a lot of the world's top clubs are monitoring Archie's development and situation very, very closely. Leads the manager to tie Archie down to a relatively long contract that will help keep the Wolves away from the door for a little bit either. He's got some goals. He's talked about his own goals at Legion Item what he wants to achieve at Leeds. So he'll be here for a bit longer as long as I keep saying this, as long as Leeds match the ambition of these players, the young players coming through, we'll be fine. We've got a really exciting young team that are only going to get better over the next couple of years with some smart recruitment around them, some experienced heads in there to help them along the way. There could be a basis for a very exciting t- Leeds team over the next five, ten years. Uh, moving on and we'll finish up today by talking about an update on Pascal Stroke's situation and speaking in his column in MOT Leeds News Dr Rajpal Brar has been commenting on what he believes some of the injury setbacks and complications that Pascal Stroke may have suffered and may be suffering towards the end of this season Dr Brar is labelled as a sports injury specialist and he's, his belief is that there are risks of re-injuring the groin in his recovery that leads will need to be mindful of. In his piece, he has said the following. It will take a significant amount of time to ramp him up when he is back in training, which does seem weeks away at this point. The doctor went on to point out that the key in the ramp up is to avoid re-injuring the same area, but also highlights the fact that you can pick up other injuries having been out for a considerable amount of time. He said that the um, likelihood of a, of additional injuries and small setbacks are likely due to the long layoff period that he has had. We've seen it with a lot of players over the last couple of years. When you're out for a significant amount of time with one injury, when you're coming back and up on your training level to get back to game pace, you can get little niggles along the way, calf injuries, hamstring injuries, strains, um, all soft tissue injuries that, that are should be expected in Pascal's drug. It's very unlikely I think that Pascal will play again this season. He might make the bench by the end of the season, but the fact that Leeds is still going around talking to consultants and trying to get operations done and haven't made a decision on whether he gets an operation or not just yet, for me means we can probably write Pascal off for the rest of the season, which is a shame because he was so good in the first half of the season for us and we needed, I think, I still think Leeds will need more options around the defensive area coming into the run and you just don't want to see an injury to Ampadu and Rodon, this international break always kind of flags up those niggles in your head of oh, injured just don't come back injured you know that's so we'll have to wait and see how they get on but um yeah it's one to keep an eye on we'll have more information on his comeback as and when we get it as well um but yeah some good news today some exciting news for Archie Gray I'm delighted for Archie Gray absolutely over the moon for him he has been a standout this season for a, a, a player so young in his development watching how he's grown this year and looks so mature now on the park he does not look out of place as a senior figure amongst some very older heads in that team as well um, can we see him back in midfield as well we've got, we've got a, a real talent there it's exciting to see it interesting talking about his brother Harry tomorrow night with Jerry as well to see um how he's progressing with Marley Wilson out injured for the under 18s for the Youth Cup final, Youth Cup semi final. Sorry, it's like looking likely that Harry Gray will be involved. He was involved with the 18s last weekend as well. So, if you're not going, I think they've sold nearly close to 10,000 tickets for the under 18s semi final against Millwall for the FA Youth Cup. If you haven't gone, check that out and you want to see Harry Gray and a couple of these other really exciting players in action, you can do so as well by going to legionite.com and checking that out there. Worth getting down and watching that game, right, folks? That's gonna be it for me today. I'll be back tonight with a live stream with Andrew Dalton and then back tomorrow morning for more Leeds news check out the Academy View with Jerry McDermott tomorrow night um, there will be some placeholder tabs in place over the course of today keep an eye out for them right I'll see you then have a great day bye